Hey guys, Anna Kruger here with the MAPS ISA Coaching Program. And today we're gonna talk about how to go three deep with a client. What do I mean by that? So we hear a lot about open-ended questions. And I learned from listening to my own call recordings that many times I would ask three questions with a client, yet they were on three different topics. So I compare this to if we hire a landscaper and say, hey, plant a tree in the front yard, right by the mailbox. I think it'll take you eight scoops of dirt, you know, hang out there, plant me a tree, what will that cost? And we look outside an hour later and he's done eight scoops of dirt, like we asked, yet in eight different spots in the front yard. Not effective, right? He, he really needed to stay in one spot. So he did the right activity, but because he wasn't focused in the right spot, it actually wasted a lot of energy and we didn't actually get the job done. So when I listened to my own call recordings, I realized I was doing that with my questions. I was asking three questions deep with my clients, but they were on three different topics. And so I wasn't actually accomplishing the intent of going three deep with a client. So I wanna teach you how I overcame that and how you can do that as well. So hopefully you guys can see this, there you go. What you're gonna do is you're gonna ask an initial question, something like, what is causing you to think about moving? That's your opening question. And you're gonna write their answer down up here at the top. And I think of that kind of like, that's their shallow answer. It's not really their true story. It's, it's a scratching the surface answer. Then I'm going to write their exact words down. Then I'm gonna ask a question, write down their next exact word, ask another question. And I'm gonna do that until I have three arrows, three answers. And I'll demonstrate this for you in just a second. When you use their exact words, it prevents you from going all over the front yard, so to speak. It, it ensures that you're not jumping topic because if you're using their exact word, it's impossible to really go off topic because you're using their words. So let's do an example. I'll do a one-way role play since I'm here by myself. So if I said, so what's causing you to think about moving? That's a lot of work. And they said, I want to downsize. I'm gonna write down downsize at the top, there you go, as their initial answer. Then I'm going to do a downward arrow representing my first digging question. And I'm gonna say, so what makes you want to downsize, using their exact word? And they might say, I want a smaller payment. So I'm gonna write down smaller payment. That makes sure, again, I'm using their words, I'm mirroring and matching them. Then I might say, what would a smaller payment do for you. So again, I'm staying on track. And they might say, well, we'd have more money to travel. So I'm gonna write down travel. So I know so far I've asked two digging questions. Oops, over here, two digging questions. I have two arrows. That helps me make sure I'm on track. So now I'm gonna use the word travel in my next question. So I might say, awesome, where would you like to travel to and how will that impact you? And they might say, I wanna travel to see my family and a whole bunch of national parks. And I really could keep going. At this point though, I have asked at least three questions and I know that because I have three arrows and that tells me I did at least go three deep. So I can either summarize it at this point or keep going. So I'll go ahead and summarize it and I would say, all right, so it sounds like you wanna downsize. The purpose of that is you want a smaller monthly payment so that you can travel and visit your family as well as a bunch of national parks. Is that correct? Awesome. And then you can then move on and say, is there anything else? Um, if you wanted to keep going, you would just then say, okay, oops, over here. Uh, what is it about traveling to see your family and national parks that's important to you? So that's a way that you could keep going. So you can do more than three digging questions. You just don't want to do less than three. Three is the magic number. But if you want to do seven and that makes sense for the conversation, keep going. So make sure you're doing the downward arrow representing each question. I've taught this since 2006. This is the best way that I've found to make sure you're digging at least three deep and staying on topic. So hopefully that'll help you guys out. I would love to hear the result of implementing this. So just reply to this email and let me know how it goes for you. Also, if you'd like to know more about the ISA coaching program where we go way deep on these things every week for an hour on a webinar, you can also reply and let me know that you're interested in that. Uh, or call me, my number is 864-735-8605. All right, guys, it's been fun hanging out with you today and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.